Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kate. If you're not, welcome back and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a what's on my iPhone. I haven't done one of these videos in quite a while, so I feel like it was time for a little bit of an update. I have recently updated my phone. I've gotten new phone cases. I've gotten a new wallpaper, like a new layout and just, it's really fun and summery. And I really just wanted to share it with you guys to be honest. So I figured I would do one of these. I haven't done one since I think Christmas time. So I feel like it's about time to do a new one. So if you guys are new here, of course, go ahead and subscribe before we get into today's video. I really do appreciate every single one of you who subscribes to me and it just means the absolute world to me. So go ahead and subscribe, of course, like this video and comment below because that all just really helps this video perform. So yeah, thank you guys in advance. <laughs> okay, so just really quickly, I want to share with you guys what my screen looks like right now. So you guys can see I'll have it like up here, but you guys can see I have like a fun little water thing going. It's very summery. It's just like a cool neutral, well, not neutral, but it's like a cool, just like basic background that I honestly, I found on Pinterest and then you go to the first page on my home screen and again we have like these neutral colors and I've just done it all with iOS 14 and you guys can see there's like some palm trees and coconuts, a little iced coffee because to me that all really just screams summer and then if we go to the second page you guys will see some fun little summer nails and then also featured there you'll see a little photo of Aperol Spritz to me that again just screams summer it screams the trip that we did to Italy and I just miss it and it's one of my favorite drinks for the summertime so I feel like I just really wanted to do my phone in a way where it makes me feel happy it makes me think of summer it makes me think of all the like fun experiences that we're gonna have together this summer so it just really gets me excited for or just the summertime. I think I've said summer enough already, <laughs> but yeah, I really just love this little layout. Some of these photos are actually my own photos, so like you'll see me in a little bikini. That was in Aruba. That was a great trip, and then your, those nails are actually my nails, so that's from my Instagram. So I did include some of my own photos, but all of these little photos were mostly from Pinterest. So I'll have a Pinterest board linked below where you guys can find all of the photos that I used on here. That way, if you do want to recreate your iOS 14 design um, to look like my iPhone, you can go ahead and do that. And then obviously what goes along with having a cute wallpaper and just having cute apps and a cute iOS 14 layout, of course we have to have a cute phone case as well. So I quickly just wanted to say thank you so much to Casetify for sending me these cases. This is not sponsored at all, they just actually sent me these cases for free um, just to kind of share with you guys, but I really do love Casetify cases. They are the cutest cases that you will find that are also protective because for me, I feel like you always find a case and it looks really pretty, but it never actually protects your phone. Um, and they sent me three really great designs. So I picked these out, but the first one that I'm obsessed with is this. It really is just like some spring summery florals. I really love this. I also got this one, which is kind of cool. I think it makes me think of travel. It's a little boarding pass that says New York, and I'm actually giving this to my fiance, Justin. So he has been obsessed with this print, so I got this one for him. Sorry, I just had to close those blinds. Those lines were annoying me so much, but yeah. And then I also got this one, which is really, really neutral. It's just a nude color, and then it just says Kate in white, and then it says it multiple times below. It's kind of hard to see. So quickly a little bit about Casetify. Casetify's Ultra Impact and Impact Cases are engineered with a two-layer construction of Qi Tech technology. So they're drop test approved for up to 6.6 .6 feet. So this is quite a bit. I'm going to show you in a sec a little video of me dropping my phone, but you can drop it from up to 6.6 .6 feet and your phone will not be damaged, which is honestly just amazing. They have so many different designs and you can customize your phone to have anything you want on it, whether it's your name or something fun like that. You can really just like pick the style to match your personality. Also, another great thing about Case to Fight Cases is the antimicrobial coating, which eliminates 99% of bacteria. So other than cute phone cases, if you guys want to know how to get that iOS 14 layout, maybe you don't know how to do it. I know this was a big trend um, last year when they first came out with iOS 14, but if you don't know how to set up your phone, how I have mine set up, I do have a video. I'll link it up 
below for you guys and also down below in the comments. So if you're not sure how to do it, I have a step-by-step -step guide which really just shows you how you can get iOS 14 and how you can customize it for yourself. Okay, so how I've really set up my phone is the first screen is just literally everything that I gravitate towards whenever I'm on my phone. These are the apps that I'm on the most or just really the things that I really need in the morning and in the night. So when you need to actually like reach for your phone, it's like it's probably going to be on your home screen. So that's how I like to set mine up. You guys will see in the top left corner, I also have the date. This way it just kind of I know what date it is. It's really self-explanatory, but it's a cute little um, widget and it just says the date. I can show you guys how to create that. That's also in that same video where I talk about iOS 14. From there, we have some very neutral colored apps and we just have camera, photos, FaceTime and phone. So I wanted to keep those kind of together, but yeah, camera and photo is pretty self-explanatory. You probably want that close together anyway. I'm forever always taking photos of everything and anything, whether it's my food or myself. And then obviously I want to be able to go and check them like right away. So it makes sense that my photos are right there too. Then of course, FaceTime and phone. Those are used pretty frequently and I feel like those are kind of interchangeable. So I really wanted to have them together as well. And then down below that, we have maps, weather, Google Calendar, and clock. Again, just things that I reach for every single day. <laughs> I have recently moved to Florida, so I don't know where anything is. So I'm forever like on my maps and just trying to Google um, or just trying to like map out anywhere I need to go because I really don't know the area just yet. And then of course the weather. I don't know why I still have this because realistically I live in Florida. It's always warm. So I don't know why I check the weather every day, but I do. And then other than that, I have my Google Calendar. I am really obsessed with planning everything, like <laughs> my life down to a T. So Google Calendar is such a helpful app. And I just, I use it all the time. I use it on my laptop. I use it on my phone. And it's just really helpful to have it so I can quickly put in any meetings I have or if I need to film a video or anything like that. Other than that, I have the clock as well. That is obviously just for setting alarms. Like every morning I have to get up for work, so I always need to be setting my alarms every single night. So pretty self-explanatory as why that is there too. And then at the bottom, we just have YouTube Studio and YouTube. This is something I religiously check every single morning. I'm always checking YouTube Studio to reply to comments, check how many subscribers I have. I always love to check that every morning and just kind of check on how my videos are doing throughout the day. And then of course, YouTube just has to be right next to it because along with doing YouTube, I love to watch YouTube as well, as does everyone. So yeah, and then other than that, on those screens, you guys can see I just have some photos. I just find these <laughs> aesthetically pleasing and let's be real, like who doesn't love aesthetically pleasing layouts and themes. And then at the bottom, we have some of my most used apps as well. So Safari for any Googling that I need to do. Of course, my mail as well, because I'm responding to multiple emails all the time. I'm also trying to plan a wedding, so I'm forever getting emails from companies. Then messages, obviously, I'm texting also all the time. And Spotify, because I am a Spotify user and not an Apple user. I just feel like Spotify is a much better app than Apple Music, especially because you can actually like make better playlists and they have playlists available for you. So I don't need to make all my own playlists. So then if we move on to the second page, I really try to keep my layout to really just two pages because I don't like to scroll all through like a million pages to find apps. So most of my apps are on the second page. So these are some things that I gravitate towards pretty frequently, but some of them maybe I haven't touched in a while if I'm being honest, but you guys will see I also have them all in folders. I feel like that's really helpful. So again, I love to organize things. The first thing we have are my socials. So that folder, of course, contains Pinterest for when I need inspiration for Instagram photos or anything like that, or I'm pinning my own photos. I have Messenger and Facebook, obviously, LinkedIn because I have a job and I'm forever, you know, on it also for work because I also do social media as part of my job. So sometimes I'm on my phone for that. Uh, Snapchat, which honestly I could probably go ahead and delete. I really don't use Snapchat anymore. Does anyone use it anymore? I don't. Um, obviously Instagram, I'm on that 24-7, always using stories, posting reels, all that fun stuff. And then I have Clubhouse as well. I don't know if you guys use Clubhouse, let me know, but I got it back when it like first was a thing. I remember, I don't know if you still have to like um, invite people via text, but that's what I had to do. And I honestly haven't done a clubhouse myself. I've listened to a few, but if I'm being honest, I probably haven't opened that app in like 
two months. I just find myself like not really using it, but let me know. Do you guys use it? I don't know. And then obviously TikTok there as well. I am addicted to TikTok as is everyone. It's got so many fun videos and I love filming my own little TikToks as well. Then we move on to the next category, which is office. So this has a lot of my work stuff. So if I'm ever on the go and I need to be like involved in what's happening with work or I have to like run out or something, I have my Outlook app, I have my notes, my reminders, Slack. Um, also, I have a random wedding registry or like wedding app on there, which is the not. I feel like it's not really supposed to be there, but for some reason it is. Um, calculator and then podcast. So if I want to listen to a podcast while I'm working, um, I like the Apple podcast. Then we have my editing folder. I'm in this every single day as well. I have Visco, which is where I add my presets. I have I always use A4 for Visco, FYI, so like I'm always in there adding a little bit of A4 to my photos. I have Unfold, which make, allows you to make really cool stories, so I love using that. I have Facetune. I really don't use it anymore, but if I ever use it, I never use it to obviously like Facetune myself, but I use it to always whiten my backgrounds. You guys can tell I love neutral backgrounds, so that's what I use that for. I have Lightroom as well. This is where I do most of my editing and I really, I can like link a, I, I can link how I actually edit my Instagram photos as well, but it's really just like a lot to do with the lighting that I'm fixing and then just like making myself look more tan as is every girl. Um, I also have Fonto on here as well. This is something that I use for YouTube. So all my thumbnails, all the text I do with Fonto. So that's what I use to make my thumbnails. I also have Lens Buddy, which is a really good app if you need to take photos of yourself because you can just prop your phone up and it will just take photos on a self timer for you know as long as you want. So you could take 30 photos right then and there and it's just so helpful if you need to take photos of yourself and there's no one around you. Um, I also have, <laughs> I have Widget Smith in there, which feels like it shouldn't be in there because it has nothing to do with editing, but for some reason it's in there. And then I have Unum, which is what I use to plan all of my Instagram photos. I like having a cohesive feed. I like just knowing that the next photo I'm going to be posting goes with the photo before. And after that, we have finance. So this is where all my banking stuff comes in. So I have Capital One as my bank. I have multiple banks, but that's the joint account I have with my fiance. I have Venmo as well. And for obvious reasons, for whenever you need to just like Venmo a friend. Um, I, also de I also have Liberty Bank, which is like my Connecticut bank from back then. I really don't use it at all. I also have Discover, which is just my credit card. I have my Australian bank, and then I also have Marcus, which is where I keep all my savings. So that is like my finance folder. I also have a shopping folder, which has Revolve, Target, which is probably used the most, Poshmark, which I don't use too often because I haven't been selling my own clothes, but it's always good if you're looking for something that's sold out. Most likely someone has it on Poshmark. And then Like to Know It as well. If you have any people that you follow who use Like to Know It, you can screenshot their photos and it tells you where their outfits are from, which is really fun. So that's a great app to have as well. I have this work folder. I really don't want to go into it because I realized one of the apps um, there is actually used for testing for something that isn't actually released so I don't want to like click on that but I do work for a company who does like a lot of tech stuff so for <laughs> reasons like that I have that app in there. I obviously have other like random stuff as well which is just like Authenticator which helps me like log in for work things and then also just Teams if I ever needed to jump on a quick call and I couldn't access anything on my laptop which sometimes happens. I <laughs> have to answer things on my phone unfortunately. So then we're going into food which is very relevant right now since my fiance is getting us to dinner right now. Um, I obviously have the Starbucks app because you just earn points through that and I'm a pretty frequent goer to Starbucks. I at least go once a week. But yeah, I love using the app just to rack up points and get free coffee. Um, Chick-fil-A was a kind of new one for me. I actually didn't know that you could earn points through Chick-fil-A. So for all these years, I didn't know, which is really upsetting. Um, so that's on me. And then Chipotle is another thing that we do really frequently. Um, we haven't gotten in in a while, but we love using the app because, again, you just get points and it's always great when you can get like a free burrito or bowl. It's really great when that happens. So the last folder we have is travel. So that one has anything to do with travel in general. 
this could be a little bit broad so the, there's some apps in here like Waze which obviously is just like maps um, for obvious reasons I keep that in there I have my JetBlue app we mostly fly JetBlue I feel like it's one of the better airlines and I just really like that you get like free snacks and free drinks um, and they don't charge you for carry on yet but I think they will <laughs> then I also have my running app I haven't used that in a while but um, I just thought it kind of fit under the travel section because I'm either traveling somewhere, <laughs> whether I'm running or I'm on a flight or something like that. I also have Best Fiends on here. It's the only game I have on my phone because I'm not someone who sits on my phone and plays games, but I do have this for when I go on flights. It's the only thing I like to play when I go on flights. It's like kind of like Candy Crush where you like have to collect things. Other than that, I have Airbnb as well because we do love using Airbnbs. It's often more affordable than doing hotels. I also have Lyft on there and Uber. It's always good to have both because sometimes Lyft is cheaper than Uber and sometimes it's the other way around. So it's interesting to see like what is cheaper when you actually need to go somewhere. But that's pretty much everything I have on my phone. I really just wanted to do an updated what's on my phone and mostly just share with you guys how I have done my layout for summer because I always love doing that for the seasons. I just feel like it's always good to change up your phone every couple of months, whether it's just the wallpaper or the apps and just like fun stuff like that. So I personally love doing that. Let me know <laughs> if you change your phone with the seasons too. Um, but yeah, I love doing that. I, of course, wanted to share with you guys these really cute cases I got from Casetify. So I'll have that linked below because you guys can actually get 15% off if you click the link in my buyer. I forgot to mention that earlier, but I'll put it in text. But yeah, you guys can use that to get 15% off your order. You just click the link. There's no code. It'll just like automatically put it in. But yeah, I really love their cases. So if you guys need a new case and you want a discount, go and check out Case to Buy. And I promise you won't regret it because they honestly have really, really great cases. So yeah, with that all being said, that is today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, you know the drill. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Of course, go ahead and like this video. Comment below. You guys can follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. I'm always posting on there. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. So. Bye everyone.